Oh, it's, uh, it's, in, it's intense really. I'm, I'm just so elated, so thrilled for, for everyone, all the family, uh, the horse, Emmett. And uh, it's, just, it's just a magical, it's a magical, unbelievable moment. Talk me through that sort of final stage of the race and how it felt coming towards the finish line. Yeah, like you, you don't know what your horse has got for you. It's a moment of, of courage. It's a moment of, of what's left of commitment. And uh, I felt the other horse come to me and I didn't know, I didn't know what I didn't know. So it's really a, an ask everything, a believe everything and, uh, and ask the horse to give you every last ounce he's got and he did. And it's your final race. I mean, did you, going into it, could you have imagined that this is how you'd finish your career? Well, you, you might fantasise about it, but you wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't uh, bet on it. So uh, I came here full of hope and, and expectation. Obviously saw, uh, you know, people didn't believe in him as a, as a seven-year-old. And that obviously goes to your mind a bit. But at the same time, I thought, actually, there's no reason he can't do this as a seven-year-old. And let's go give it our best go. And, and your dad is the owner of the horse. So yeah. uh, tell me about the relationship with you and your dad. And, and is this just a really nice thing for you both to celebrate? Yeah, it's been our hobby. Uh, it's been something we've enjoyed together. We've done it over 20 years, probably 23 years, and uh, started with the lowest expectations, just to have a bit of a laugh on on the weekends, really. And one thing's led to another. Opportunities have presented themselves, and, and we've, you know, gone and gone after them. And this is a dream you've had since you were a kid. It's been my my boyhood dream, uh, my childhood dream, really. And uh, it's hard to uh, it's hard to imagine it's come true. Oh, it's it's incredible the atmosphere in Liverpool, the the goodwill, the spirit, the the whole atmosphere of of, of Liverpool, and coming off the back of COVID, um, just feels like an incredible energy here. What's next for you? You're going to take maybe have a holiday? <laughs> <laughs> have a break. Back at work on Monday. Uh, it's busy busy time for everyone uh, at Portman, and uh, so yeah, keep my head down. I think it's great to enjoy these things, but. At the end of the day, uh, it's more important to, to look after the people around you and uh, and keep your feet somewhere near the ground. And your kids look made up to be lifting that trophy. How excited is the family? Yeah, I, I, I don't think they'll ever believe it. I don't think they'll ever um, imagine another day like that. So uh, it's uh, it's pretty wild. That's great. Anything else? Yeah, yeah just tell us a little bit about, about the horse. You know, what's it what's been like? Where, you know, where do you see him going from here? I think that is his great day, Emmett was full of confidence that he had uh, more uh, more to give and uh, you know when you've got a trainer like Emma so thoughtful about his horses so talented in bringing them on that fills you with confidence so I think uh, we'll get him home we'll go back to Ireland uh, I think we're going to go over tomorrow to go and see him and celebrate with everyone at the yard and uh, and see what we do next.